Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video collab with another mom here on YouTube and her name is Kelsey or Lady Kelsey 92 and I will put all of her information down below so you can go check out her channel and subscribe to it and check out um, her half of the video and I'll also link it somewhere in this video. So we are going to be telling you tips for getting your baby to sleep through the night. Um, mine, Some of mine are, well actually most of mine are tried and true and then there's a few or there's like one or two I think that um, are things that I was going to try or that I may have been trying um, lately so yeah if you guys want to hear my six then definitely keep watching this video so the first tip that I have is to not let your baby nap past a certain time so if your baby goes to sleep um, or your child goes to sleep at a certain time so let's say nine I wouldn't let them sleep past six and I would actually make it so that they were awake by six. So um, if they take a two hour nap, then put them down around four or three, and then that way they're awake around six and then they're up for a few hours and then they're sleepy enough to go to sleep um, by the time it's their bedtime. So that is definitely the, the first second one. one that I have is to do a bath and baby massage right before bedtime. and just to make it like a calm atmosphere so that they know that, you know, it's time to get ready to go to sleep, no more jumping around, no more playing with toys, all that stuff. I just think that's good for the baby or a child um, to know that, you know, when you're getting ready to go to sleep, it's time to, you know, start relaxing and then it'll probably be easier for them to go to sleep as opposed to if they were like running around all crazy, playing with the toys, and then you're like, all right, time to go to sleep, and then you put them in their bed because then they'll just still be hyper and still wanna play. So the third one that I have is to have a nightly ritual. So I believe that this is good for your baby or your child because it gives them something to look forward to and then they know okay it's time to go to sleep after I do this so whether that be reading them a book singing them a song or a lullaby um, having them give hugs and kisses to everybody hugs to their dad to their siblings or to their pets anything their stuffed animals um, just so that they know that it's time to go to sleep. The fourth one I have is to introduce a lovey. And what a lovey is, is it's usually a blanket or a stuffed animal or something that is special and comforting to your child because it just provides them with extra comfort. So Riley and Andy both have a blanket that they sleep with. Um, Riley has had her blanket since birth and same with Andy. Um, and they both sleep better with their blanket um they can go to sleep without it but they sleep they definitely sleep better with it so i would definitely suggest that the fifth one that i have is to let them sleep with your pillow or if you have a blanket that you usually sleep with and it's not too big then to let them sleep with that um i actually just started letting andy sleep with my pillow so i sacrificed my pillow um to let her sleep with it in her bed and i actually have noticed that she naps longer um as far as sleeping at night goes she's still having trouble um you know sleeping through the whole night but i definitely can tell that for naps she sleeps a lot longer when she sleeps with my pillow i think they just like you know to know that your scent and your smell is near them and it just gets them to sleep longer and then the last one i have number six is to night wean if you're breastfeeding so i am breastfeeding i have been exclusively breastfeeding for maybe like nine months and i just started um andy on like solid foods like regular table foods i thought that maybe when she started um eating more regular foods she would sleep longer throughout the night you know people kept telling me oh you know she needs her food that's why she's not sleeping that's definitely not why she's not sleeping she likes to um nurse for comfort so i would say that if you are ready to wean or you think your baby is ready to wean or you just you know need to sleep through the night then i would definitely suggest night weaning um i have not started night weaning yet i don't think that i will until andy is ready but that's just my you know that's that's just me so yeah those are my six um a lot of them or all of them except for the last one the night weaning i have tried and they have worked and Kelsey has a, a separate six from mine. So if you guys want to go check out her six, then definitely um, click on the links below or I'll link her video like right here so you guys can go check that so out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!